Flip City family, what is up? It is Rose, Daddy, and Art in the kitchen about to make my ultimate chicken salad recipe that is so darn good, and I'm gonna make it kinda in meal prep style. Cause here's the deal, Rose, when you make a chicken salad this good, you wanna double, triple, quadruple the recipe cause you'll go through it really quickly. And I think the key, the key to making this next level is using the best quality chicken you can find and oven roasting it to get the most juicy, flavorful chicken possible. And I'm gonna tell you in a couple minutes why we don't buy the rotisserie chicken at the grocery store. Uh, before we get rocking and rolling, this video is sponsored by the longest supporter of the channel, Thrive Market. You guys know I love Thrive Market for a ton of reasons, but a lot of them have to do with what's going on their website lately. They have some of the best beef, chicken, and pork around. They work with small family farmers around the country and their pork is next level, pasture raised, delicious pork. That's how daddy feels when he eats the bacon on the weekends, right? It's fantastic. Plus the box arrives to your doorstep and now, Rose, on the app, they have a price scanning feature. If you're at the grocery store, you can scan any barcode. It'll tell you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market. Spoiler alert, a lot of things are cheaper on Thrive, like my favorite grass-fed organic ghee that is next level. So in the description box down below, I have a promo link. You can get a $20 shopping, yeah, $20 shopping credit when you get a year-long membership on Thrive. Use that for some of my favorite stuff, but I would use it for the pasture-raised pork. It is dynamite. Okay, let's get going on this chicken salad, Rose. In front of me, I have 10. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, 10 organic bone-on, skin-on chicken thighs. And back here, I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees. I think by buying bone-on, skin-on, you're getting double whammy of flavor. You're getting the fat from the skin going into the meat and that bone, any meat that has bone in the rows is gonna have more flavor because that bone, just like a bone-on steak, is infusing more flavor. So let's season the chicken here. First, I'm gonna spray over some avocado oil. I find that easier than drizzling it from a bottle. Then I'll pinch over some really good unrefined salt, then flip the chicken over, and just do a little more salt. We don't have to bother with pepper for this recipe. And then toss it in the 400 degree oven, and I'll cook it for just under an hour. When the chicken comes out of the oven, you're gonna have what I call chicken skin chicharrones. They're not part of the recipe, but they infuse the chicken with fat, but Art and I are gonna crush those like no one's business. That's the beauty of using an oven roasted chicken as opposed to getting a rotisserie chicken, which I'll talk about later on. All right, in the meantime, we can make the dressing. It's a mayonnaise best, uh, based dressing, and Thrive has this coconut oil mayonnaise that is so tasty. And the reason why I like it is because it's basically keto mayonnaise. By using coconut oil, it's loaded with MCTs, the median chain triglycerides. It's loaded with lauric acid, and it's really, really tasty. Let's start with a cup of the coconut oil mayonnaise, the juice of one lemon, a teaspoon of stone ground mustard. I'll add a shot of sriracha just for a little heat. I'll add a teaspoon of tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. It's gonna give us some umame. I'll add a half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, a pinch of salt, a few cracks of black pepper, and then about a teaspoon of tahini, which I love. I gotta say tahini is an optional ingredient, but it's basically the Middle Eastern version of peanut butter. It's sesame seeds ground up and it's really nutty and slightly bitter. And I think it gives this uh, dressing a ton of flavor. And when you add what I call umami bombs, Rose, like the toasted sesame oil and the tamari, the dressing is out of sight. Oh, that is so good, but I actually do want a little more acid in there. So let me just try to ream a bit more juice out of there. All right, chicken is ready. Come over here, check this out. I popped the broiler on for the last 10 minutes to make that skin extra crispy, and that looks great. Got a little blistered on the top, super rendered and crispy. Let's take that out. And then this is probably the Tom Petty moment of the video. The waiting is the hardest part. You want to go in there right now, but you can't. You got to wait for it to cool down so we can go all Hugh Jackman on there. Know what I'm talking about, Art? No. <laughs> Wolverine. Wolverine. Thank you, Desi. I knew Art hasn't seen that movie, right? Yeah. So he has like claws that made out of razors that come out. So we're going to shred the chicken like that. Add it to Art's list. But here's what I was talking about earlier. Check it out. Like in Hannibal Lecter, another movie reference. You've seen that movie, right, Art? I have not. You haven't seen? But I know what you're talking wow. about. Wow. This, right? So all the fat from the skin has rendered into the chicken. You don't need this anymore. You can throw it away, but I think that'd be criminal. Instead, you have a crispy chicken skin. 
She shot her own for the win. That's huh? going on there. Um, I'll bet. Oh my god. See, that's the reason in and of itself to make this recipe as, to, as opposed to using the rotisserie chicken ones. Even if you buy an organic rotisserie chicken, read the ingredients. It's going to have natural flavors, maltodextrin, cruddy oil. This doesn't have any of that. Oh my god. Oh, you got to try this. This is what I've been. <laughs> this is not what I've been waiting for, but I'll start with it. If you just want to eat that and save me the rest, you can. This is what I've been waiting for. Listen to this thing. Mm. Crazy, right? Salty, crunchy, and delicious. Okay, Art and I have eaten all these skins. And Desi, of course, had a couple. Now, while the meat is still hot, you want to shred it. That way it's kind of receptive to the dressing when you pour it over. And then I'll run a knife through it a few times just to make sure it's in small pieces and bite-sized pieces. And then I'll transfer it to a large bowl. I'm not going to lie to you, that is a very messy job. I had chicken grease all over my hands around the cutting board, but we got her done. Now we got to finish it with the fixings and the dressing. I like to chop the parsley by holding the bunch on the angle and just give it a little haircut. That way you don't get too many stems in there. And then just grab everything up together. Try to roll it like a cigar. And that way your knife blade goes through as many leaves as possible and add it to the chicken. Then pop the ends off of the green onion. I find that a raw red onion is a little too abrasive, so I like the green onions here. And then add that to the bowl. I'm gonna grab some Bulgarian walnuts that Desi's mom sends to us. I'm not sure if it's legal, but we won't tell anyone, right? Can you use California walnuts if that's all you got? Yes, California ones would work. And then add it to the bowl. And for a little more crunch, I'm gonna take the celery hearts. I like the heart of the celery because it has these leaves here. The leaves are so delicious and tasty. Add that. A quarter teaspoon of salt. A few cracks of black pepper. And the juice of half a lemon. Just to season the chicken before I add the dressing. And then I'll pour some of that dressing around the outside. So I'm treating this just like I would a green salad because I know the dressing is seasoned really nicely, but I also season my salads with salt and pepper and lemon juice too because I want everything to have flavor. I find that's how you make a salad or a chicken salad or a tuna salad that has a ton of flavor. That's it. That is it. The chicken is so juicy. Seasoned perfectly, tangy, creamy, and popping with that crunch. That is great. Now you have a few serving options, right? I can go in my fridge over here. I can get one of my favorite low carb sandwich thins made of cauliflower. Um, you can use my low carb cloud bread recipe that's in the cookbook for this too. By the way, the cookbook is still a number one bestseller on Amazon, all because of you, or you can make a wrap. Check out what's on Thrive Market. They have coconut wraps made out of coconut meat. This one has turmeric and a little bit of coconut water. Completely low carb and keto. Scoop down some of the chicken salad and I'm gonna wrap it just like an egg roll. So don't put too much filling in there. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Cut it in half. And there it is. Love it, look at that. Low carb, keto, and paleo. All right, Rose is sleeping. Art's ready to eat some lunch. Crush away, my friend. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for this. Wow. Mm. Mm. That wrap is really nice. You guys got to make this because it'll last you five days in the fridge. But for cold lunch recipes, those have always been a very popular request on my channel because some people take stuff to work. They can't warm it up, right? This is the perfect candidate. And I think something like this gets better the next day because the flavors get a chance to marinate. Now let's do the part that I love the best. Art straps on his chopped judging hat and gives his accurate description of the recipe. We've got a nice consistency from that keto mayonnaise and you got good crunch from the celery in there. The coconut wrap, I didn't know about ahead of time. It's adding some nice it really is. dimensions and profiles to this thing. Third dimension? Maybe? It's a win. <laughs> Way to go, Milosh. And actually, the coconut wrap 
is fantastic because it has that slightly tropical, you know, pina colada on the beach feel. And it goes great with the creaminess of the uh, uh, coconut oil, avocado, uh, the coconut oil uh, mayonnaise. So we're mm -hmm. bringing everything back home. Mm. Wow. And of course, we're using chicken thighs, so they're juicier and tastier than chicken breast. I would never use a chicken breast for this. It would dry out way too easily. All right, guys. That is it. Recipe down below in the description box, along with the macros. Make sure you check out Thrive Market using my promo link in the description box. Once again, you get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year-long membership using my link. Get the stuff we use today. We got two more videos going below us right now. But Art and I and Rose, who's napping, and Desi will see you very soon. Until then, we stand to you like we always do. Hashtag, keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Just in time for lunch now, too. You can crush away. Crushing it.